coming right at us. Hello there. Extraordinary. Wow. It's for me. Cool. Oh, look at the texture. Wow. Yeah, to identify these gelatinous organisms, you have to have a really good camera and you have to zoom in really far. And or just right as, as you just saw, oh, the, wow. the jelly just that is, is as close to our camera as you can possibly get. So that is an alien creature from yep. another planet. <laughs> so jellyfish are a type of cnidarian, so they're actually relatively close relatives to the corals, and that they have a, a similar style stinging cell. Uh, nematocyst that is kind of a defining characteristic of the phylum. Watch your tether, Dan. How far back in history do the jellyfish go? A long time. I don't know off the top of my head, but they are a very basal taxa, meaning that they're the frame, pretty yeah. far down the tree of life. So they go back even before the Cambrian explosion, before hard parts became very common in the fossil records. So this would be probably we take a quick flyby look at the, the Edia Karen. So jellyfish would have been among the first animals to ever appear in the oceans of the earth. One of the first, yes. That is a beautiful bouquet. Tilt up for you a bit, Jude. That's a good altitude there. There's also a, a lobster on the rocks we haven't seen yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's called a homerion. It's a very interesting crustacean. Sort of a strange shape. Yeah, you can put the... Is there a common name for that? Yeah. Uh, camera's on. I don't Not know. that I know of, no. I think I think I'd just generally call it a blind lobster, but um, so, but I don't. So I'm not sure if that's answer. beyond just my shorthand. So so annoying when you run out of time just as you find the thing you want to look at. You got all the time in this brain. Yeah, sorry, I didn't hear it at first. Oh, oh we got oh, we got oh another floating. Okay, cucumber? this is another Anipniastes, I think. Yes, it is. This that's is the pretty color. Hugged. What was oh, your nickname, Ryan? For a bit of a zoom. Um, headless chicken monster. There you headless go. Headless chicken monster. I have no, I mean, I guess it vaguely resembles a chicken, but... This is so pretty. It is. What's Beautiful the name fly. of this one? That was awesome. Anipniastes. E yes, E-N-Y-P-I-A-S-T-E-S. -E yeah, these guys are fascinating. This genus of sea cucumbers in particular, Anipniastes, is just famous for being found in the water column a lot of the time. And they have one of the most developed of the these vellums, these flap-like structures on their heads. And you can see it's a great way for the animal to just stay up in the water column. We have no idea how they make a decision on when to come back down, but they do. Okay. Are we good to keep going? Yeah, there is an urchin right there. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, go wide, science. To our viewers, you can tune into oh, wow. channel three to okay. see our collection what jars is that? as we I, sample. I don't know. And <laughs> okay. I'm wondering if we should take a closer look at this. I'm wondering yeah, if this. <laughs> predatory tunicate or I'm not sure. Yeah, I like the tunicate hypothesis just because usually when tunicates are, are like a what is that sort of creature. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. From the perspective of somebody whose taxonomy is squishy, crunchy, and what is that? It's pretty good. <laughs> this has got to be one of the predatory tunicates. Oh, and it's closing up. Is it predating? It looks like so, a hamburger bun. In the <laughs> chat, I was thinking like did Oreo cookie. Jeff, did you see what's in the chat? Oh, looks like maybe. Steve oh, Oscovich agrees with me. Predatory tunicate? Predatory tunicate. Sweet. Just sitting there like a Venus flytrap. What an amazing critter. Yeah. It's awesome. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay. Go away. <gasps> oh, look at that. What? Fish. Oh. What is this? This fish. It's looking very chomp oh, It is looking. Like a tiny baby. Sorry. <laughs> I can be pretty confident in the IDs, but it's always good to consult the guide and consult an expert. Because sometimes things that look the same can be different. Oh, it's so cute. What Jeff. is it, do you think, Megan? So this is a type of anglerfish. This will be the first time I've seen an anglerfish. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And the fins almost look like rudimentary oh, legs. No. Jeff is online. Yeah, you notice that the, the, the gill openings are actually behind the little pectoral fins, the legs. They can open and close them and use them kind of as jets. 
this is a pretty interesting. This is the Go second one we've seen. Halfway. Um, that's just doing this floating. This family is normally very benthic. It sits on the f bottom, even tends to walk a little bit. I've only seen them swim when extremely perturbed. This is two individuals now on this dive that have been hovering half a meter or so above the seafloor, which is new behavior for me. How big do they get? This is probably full grown. And you can find these all wow. the way up into, into scuba cool. diving that depths. Nice. Great close up. All right. Thank you, Dan. That is definitely going to be a highlight.